Hi, in today's video we are going to do a video segmentation, but we will do it automatically. So look at this video of a person and two dogs, and now watch the result. As you can see, the dogs and the person is segmented. So let's start the tutorial. So before this, we start the segmentation tutorial, I would like to point out that this tutorial is part of a playlist that deal with the best image semantic segmentation. You can find it and hear more tutorials. I'm explaining about a more Python libraries like Decathlon 2 and seg Segment Anything and YOLO V5 and of course YOLO V8. You can click at this link to see more tutorials. So let's uh, continue. So let's start with the, our tutorial. We will first start with the installation part. Uh, I will leave a link for this instruction um, in, my, uh, in the video description. As you can see, the first step is creating a Conda environment based on Python 3.9. 3.9, it can also work well with 3.8, uh, but this tutorial was done with 3.9. Next, of course, we are activating this new environment and then we should install several Python libraries and it's very important to keep this order. First of all, we are installing Supervision, very good Python libraries that deal with computer vision. Then we, we are uninstalling, please notice, we are uninstalling OpenCV Python Headless. Next, we have to install the PyTorch version. In order to do that, you should uh, write this uh, command prompt and this is C minus, minus minus version and then you will discover which what is your CUDA version. And my CUDA version is 11.8. You should go to the PyTorch website and here, before you're installing the last version, go to the previous version and here you can see uh, for each of CUDA environment uh, what is the relevant for what is the relevant PyTorch version that uh, uh, will be suitable for your CUDA version. For example, if I will look for 11.8, you can see that uh, PyTorch 2.2.2 is a good version that is suitable to my CUDA and 2.2.1 as well and also 2.2.0 you can see that all these versions are suitable for 11.8 if for example uh, you are using just for example 11.6 you can see that you should install earlier version for example 1.13.1 so discover your CUDA version and then install the relevant um, PyTorch, uh, the relevant PyTorch version. As I said earlier, mine is 11.8, so this is the command line for installing the relevant uh, PyTorch version. You should copy it from the PyTorch website. Then we should install YOLO v8. In order to do that, pip install Ultralytics and you should in choose the right version. This tutorial was uh, created using 8.1. Then once again, uh, just to double, double check, I'm installing OpenCV and reinstall it back with this specific version. Please notice it should be upper uh, version of 4.6.0. So this is the installation part. So now we are ready to start coding. So let's create a new and fresh Python file. Let's uh, name it auto label segmentation.py. Great. Let's import some Python uh, libraries. We will uh, import OpenCV. 
the yellow object out of ultra lictics and moreover we we'll import the annotator object and the colors uh, function so the first step would be loading and basically opening our video file we will use the opencv function named video capture let's get the, the path for our video don't forget to change the direction of the slashes so the cap variable pointing to our to our uh, video file next we will run a, a loop so in each time each iteration we will uh, extract or, or capture basically capture and read a specific uh, frame and if we finish reading all the frame then we break our while loop then we will display our frame and next we will wait for a key if we would like to interrupt the process so if we press the Q uh, keyboard then we will also break the loop then another common practice uh, using OpenCV we will release the, the cap variable that points the video and also destroyed all the windows let's run it I run it on fast forward you can see that we grab all the frames and display it as a video next we would like to load all the weights out of the YOLO V8 nano segmentation model and we will also uh, get all the names of the categories uh, if we print it you can see that we have about 80 categories this is the the coco uh, categories model so after printing the names we also would like to create another uh, video variable named out and this will be uh, the relevant it, we basically we will store in this video file out.avi we will store uh, a new video file that contains the same video but we will segment all the frames now during the while loop we would like to run a prediction for every frame when you run a prediction basically we will do this segmentation process and all the predicted areas will be inside the results variable as for now we will just print the, the masks inside the the, the results and uh, just to double check that we are getting a prediction out of the process so first of all as you can see we have all the names of the classes and now it's very fast uh, and now we're getting mask for each of the running frame inside the while loop so as we can see uh, the prediction works and now we would like to to get a specific mask for a specific frame and and displayed inside our uh, process inside our while loop now after the prediction we would like to grab all the classes that were predicted in each frame and also we would like to grab the masks and um, that uh, uh, predicted the mask are basically the position uh, of the dots um, for each of those classes then we are creating a, a new object based on the annotator it will help us uh, later to uh, display the mask on top of the frames and now it's the important part we will run a for loop inside all the predicted mask and classes for each of the frames next we will define a new variable named that label and this will contain the name of the class so it will contain a name like a, a, a dog a, a person so it will be a text uh, variable now we will use the annotator object and we will run the function seg underscore bbox that will uh, display or draw the mask on our frame so this is the argument to run this function now after we uh, build uh, the image uh, that contain all the mask inside it we would we would like to store 
uh, each of the images, each of the detected frames in the, the, in the same um, subfolder. However, let's say uh, make it uh, more interesting. We would like to create a, another subfolder with the class name and store inside this subfolder uh, each of the predicted frame. So we will get the, the images that were extracted during the, the test video and it will be stored as separated frames with the segmentation on it. So now we are creating the path for each of the images. As you can see, it will contain the name of the category plus an index. The index is out of the for loop. And then we are storing the image in the same path. Great. Next, the out variable uh, we defined it earlier for storing the result video. So now we are adding each of the frame for the result video. So let's run it. Let's wait a few more seconds. Great, as you can see, we have for each of the frame a detected segmentation for a person and two dogs. You can see on the left side that we are creating a, a dog folder and a person folder. But I can see that each image overrides the previous one. We have to fix it. So we will fix it in, in a more uh, a simple way. Instead of using the, the enumerated value out of the for loop, let's create a, a simple variable, call it a numerato, and each time we are grabbing a, a new frame we will add the value one to this numerato and let's uh, replace the idx with the our numerato as part of the image name so now let's run it again and on the left side let's open the subfolder this is dog now as you can see the numerato is running perfectly and during the inference process it's grabbing each frame and adding the segmentation and store the image inside the subfolder named of the the category name let's see the results we created it out dot avi as you can see it's a very nice video the outcome is very good thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this tutorial bye bye